All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakar Kwadash. The bar the apostle is a great millstone for teaching us to understand truth according to Bar Well and peace and blessings to the flood to the nation of Israel. It's to Brother Isaiah from the GMS Rally, GMS North Carolina camp, back when the Lord's willing to edify and listen. You know, and uh, we're just getting to a simple topic on uh, false prophets. You know, uh, hey, hey, they're they're part of the Heavenly Father's story. You know, as you can see, these uh, other camps and you know breaking down the scriptures wrong. You know, it's really you know for us as the defenders of the gospel to 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 bring out these topics and to edify the body, the the, the sheep of Yah by Shema Washai. Uh, I'm going to get this in Ephesians 4 and 14. It says, <clears throat> uh, let me get this one first. This is 1 Corinthians uh, 1 and 10. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. You see, so Yahweh Shema Washai, you know, has commanded us, the, the household of faith, the teachers, the believers of the Lord, to be of the same mind and the same judgment, right? So we all are one accord, you know, as it's written here in the... Was it Romans 16, I believe, and 17? Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division. Right? And when you look up this word uh, to mark, uh, to look at, to observe, you know, it's a scopeo. Strong's G, 4648, scopeo. Scopeo. It says to look at, observe. To, to mark, to fix one's eyes upon, direct one's attention to. So when Jacob's going off in these other camps, these uh, other Israelite groups, you know, uh, false prophets in the, Christ, in the Christian community, right? When these guys are going off, you know, we put the scope on them to, to point them out. We mark them, right? To let the... Uh, the body know that these guys are false prophets. These guys are false teachers. Beware of them. Be on guard, right? It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division, right? Uh, scripture talk about having your uh, senses exercised, right? The men of Yahweh by Shema Shai, his leaders, have their senses exercised to discern between that which is good and that which is evil. Right, so that's why we we mark them which cause division, in the fences contrary to the doctrine, ye have learned and avoid them. Right, so we avoid these men. You know, meaning we don't follow them. We we go in the other direction that they are uh, calling one to to follow them. Right, this is uh, Saint Matthew's fifteen and thirteen. But he answered. And said, every plant which my father, which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. I'm reading this in the NLT. It says, Yahweh shall reply, every plant pl not planted by my heavenly father will be uprooted. Right? So Jake their little uh, noise that they're making in the earth, you know, them getting status, is going to be uprooted. <laughs> the Lord is going to take away uh, their so-called status that they have, their so-called name and reputation that they have. So ignore them, right? We, we have no need to uh, be jealous of these guys, right? No one's jealous of a false leader, of a false prophet, right? We're thankful. We're, we're, we're blessed. We're... We're, we're humbly, you know, we come in a humble position, thank, thankful to Yahweh Shema Shai that we have this truth, that we have this understanding, that we have this faith, you see? There's nothing to be uh, envious about. 
It says, so ignore them. They are a blind guide leading the blind, right? So they themselves are blind and their whole congregation is blind, not seeing the madness that these guys are pushing. And if one blind person guides another, they will both fall into a ditch, right? And that ditch is this trap that the Heavenly Father has laid for them, for them to be uh, lifted up in pride, right? And now we jump to Ephesians 4 and 14, right? It says that we henceforth be no more children, right? So uh, children tossed to and fro and carried about with every uh, uh, with every wind of doctrine. So we can't be tossed to and fro. We got to be uh, rooted in Yahweh Shai. You see? We got to be rooted and planted in the things that we have learned. It says, by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, like, you know, uh, Jake, <laughs> a slight, the use of dexterity or cunning, especially so as to deceive, right? Uh, it says, and by the slight of men in cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive, right? A lot of our, uh, you know, a lot of the people of our, especially there, the circumcision, our, uh, Israel knows they're Israel, you know, doing this for uh, money, you know, just doing this, Taking this Israelite thing and, and, and not really knowing what, what you're a part of. You know, to call yourself an Israelite, a son of God, that, that's a that's a threat in the eyes of the elites. You see, and, and a lot of them have taken the back. A lot of them have made these backdoor deals. And, and they think that that's going to get them out of the judgment that Yahweh by Shema Oshah has, you know, set in these last days. The time of Jacob's trouble. But scripture says it's a never trust thine enemy, right? You're leading their uh our people into a burning bit, a a, a burning uh building. Right? There's so many precepts, Colossians two and eight. Let's keep reading. It says, "Beware, lest any man spoil you through uh philosophy and vain deceit." It's like yeah. Uh, the thing about precept Lord's law it comes back to me. It says, "Beware, right? So be on guard, be on lookout to avoid the risk any man spoil you or rob you, you know, through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiment of the of the world, and not after Yahweh Shai." Right, it, it, not after Yahweh Shai, not after what Yahweh Shai uh, is teaching us. You see, uh, I believe it was Jeremiah twenty three. I mean, this was one on my mind. How they? Uh, I'll get this one. This is uh, Saint Matthew's twelve, and then we'll go back to that one. We'll get that Second Peter's. As well, it's St. Matthew 12 and 30. He that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. So if you're not, you know, preaching the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, you're actually against him. Right? You're, you're rising up, you know, uh, in, 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 in putting yourself in this position of a, a leadership a role. And you're scattering the flock. Right, this is um Isaiah uh, nine and sixteen for the leaders of this people calls them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. Right, so the leaders of this people are causing them to err, causing them to uh, to think that the day of the Lord is slack. You know, here it is on one end; these guys, you know, will come up and salute you and say that we're almost out of here. But on the other hand, it's just like. The, the way Jake is moving, you know, they, they, they put the day of the Lord far behind them. This is, um, this is a Jeremiah, uh, we'll read 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastors, right, these false leaders that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, right? You're scattering the sheep, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because you're not gathering them in truth. Saith the Lord, 
Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my sheep. Right? Let's read this in LT. It says, Therefore, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says to these shepherds. Instead of caring for my flock and leading them to safety, you have the, the deserted them and driven them to destruction. Now will I pour out judgment on you for the evil you have done to them. Right? So... You're you're leading our people astray, you know, and a lot, uh, uh, you know, Jake' uh, conscience <laughs> is out of there. Jake isn't, you know, uh, Jake isn't, um, <laughs> Jake isn't considering what they're doing. And if they are considering what they're doing, you know, it shows you how how, how evil and wicked they truly are. This is uh, Jeremiah 23 and 16. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Right? They have, they're in that spirit. Uh, a nigga will do it to me. Right? And, and that is a wicked and filthy uh, spirit that this world, you know, has set forth. You know, a scam likely. You know, to get over on one another. It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. Right? They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. Right? Because the mouth of the Lord has said that woes, even the pestilence are coming to never trust your enemy. Right? That, you know, and, and moreover, that you have to worship Yahweh Shai. You know, a lot of these guys, they don't push Yahweh Shai. You know, and the camps that are saying Yahweh Shai, these are ups, some of them are upstarts. Right, like who, where, where did you come from? You know, and where is the honor and the 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 reverence for the men that came before you? You know, scriptures tell you, you know, let those let the elders that rule among you, right, be worthy of double honors. You know, it says verse seventeen. They say still. Unto them that despise me, the Lord have said, Ye shall have peace, and they shall, and and they say unto every one that walketh out their imagination of his own heart, No evil shall come upon you. For who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord and and have perceived and heard his word? Who maketh his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in his fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Right? So the Lord is going to deal with the leaders of our people. You know that, you know, the false leaders of our people, I should say. You know, that are leading our people astray. You know, every day, I was about to say every week, every day, <laughs> you know, you see... Uh, the apostles and elders and bishops and, you know, brothers, you know, getting on Israel, you know, where the hell they're going off at every day. This is a uh, second Peter's two and one. But but there were false prophets um, also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies. Right. Uh, the hell doctrine, you know, uh, you don't have to worship uh, Yahweh Shai. The names of Yahweh Shema uh don't matter. You can call the Lord whatever you want, you know. Or you can uh, rep a Hoover Crip, you know. All these things, you can mingle the truth with the world, you know. It, it's just all these things. There's so many things that these guys do, it, <laughs> you know. And it's it's really uh, despicable. It's, it's just disgusting, you know. Oh, oh, you know we have to be grateful once again that the Lord has delivered us out of that madness, right? It says heresy. Definition of heresy: belief or opinion contrary to orthodox religions or doctrine, right? So, what was uh, originally a setup for us to follow 
They bring in things opposing that, even denying the Lord that bought them and, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Right? So, Yahweh Shai that bought them <laughs> with, their, with his own uh, uh, precious blood, dying on the cross, allowing them to uh, 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 have the ears to understand that, uh, and, you know, that we're the Israelites. But they don't really, you know, they're, they're still blind. You know, it tells you in Ezekiel uh, 37, you know, uh, they, they didn't have the breath in them. You know, the words that they will speak would not be uh, uh, divinely inspired. You know, what was the word uh, the brothers used? Um, th th I believe it was uh, divinely inspired or, uh, you know, basically, you know, divinely inspired. Um, <clears throat> it says... And bring upon themselves swift destruction, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the word of truth shall be evil spoken of, right? And because of these teachers, the way of truth will be slandered, right? And, and you see it to this day, you know, we'll defend anybody that comes up against the truth. We'll, we'll, we'll defend anybody who, uh, who, who doesn't stand up for, uh, uh, who who who's standing up for righteousness, but hey, though hand joining hand, uh, uh, what would say? Can can two walk together except they be agreed? So a lot of you uh, Israelite groups that are teaming up, you know these uh unity camps, you know you agree, you know that Yahweh that that you, that you that you that you don't want to worship Yahweh by Shema Shai and sincerity and truth. That's what you agree on. And that's why you see uh, these guys uh, joining together. Uh, it says, in, I'll read the NLT, In their greed, they will make up clever lies to get a hold of your money. <laughs> you know, selling uh, precepts, uh, no, selling breakdowns, selling uh, Hebrew names, you know, dropping the cash app. And, and, you know, Jake is sincere, you know, since I'm in, in you know, the, the, our people who are listening, trying to get this word. So, you know, when you drop the cash app, you know, Jake's like, damn, you know, I, sh I should help out, you know, you know, we, we should we should we should be uh, we should we should try to nation build, you know. So Jake sends the money, you know, but, you know, hey, you know, the, the Lord. Yahweh Shema Shai is going to deal with you teachers take, taking the advantage of the flock, you know, and their sincerity. Because uh, one can be sincere and you can uh, take advantage of that sincere, him being sincere, and he can get offended, right? And that blood is going to be upon you. But Yahweh con 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 condemneth, condemned them long ago, and their destruction would not be delayed. So. Hey, we're we're coming to a time where these uh these false prophets are gonna be uh starting to get judged, you know, and the Lord is gonna bring uh, a swift destruction, you know, a, a time of evil and calamity like none other. Uh, but we'll get this and close out Ezekiel uh fourteen and nine, and if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I the Lord had deceived that prophet. The Lord have deceived these men. You know, uh, pride is uh, very, very br uh, blinding. You know, the Lord have taken them who were proud and blinded them. And just because they get the uh, the praise of men, the accolades of women, you know, they think they're doing something in the earth, but they're not. You see? And if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken the thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. And I will stretch out my hand upon him. And will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel, and they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. Why? Because everyone's going to seek to their like. You know, you see uh, these camps who, uh, you know, they promote, uh, you know, uh, basically worldly uh, tendencies. 
you know, with they are of the world, you know, they are attracted to those tendencies. You know, that's why they're going to be worthy of those judgments. They are of the world, therefore the world heareth them. We are of the Most High, therefore the uh, the world heareth us not. Right? Those who are of the Most High heareth us. Which we can get at First John 4 and 5. It says, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Right? That's why those who follow them are going to be worthy of the judgments that uh, that the, their leaders take part in. Famine, uh, pestilence. And the Lord could really prolong, you know, Jake for as long as he wants. You know, and th the crazy thing is the Lord could bug you out to think he's actually dealing with you. You know, you, you go through a famine through out here. You know, on the brink of starving to death, you've been beat up a couple of times and the Lord feeds you a meal just to preserve you. You think the Lord is dealing with you, but the Lord is only uh, having you tarry long upon the earth until those nuclear missiles come. So you can catch more hell because down here upon the earth is the place of judgment. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yah by Shema Washai, right? And a lot of these teachers and false prophets have a lot of blood upon their hands. It says, we are of the Most High. He that knoweth Yahweh heareth us. He that is not of Yahweh, Baha Shema heareth not us. He, hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Right? So if you ain't uh, getting down to this tune that's being sung by the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone, hey, hey, you, you are none of his. You, you ain't of uh, the, the, the lambs and sheeps of Yah by Shema Shai. You know, with that, you know, I pray that you were edified. You know, to next time I'm going to say Shalom.